due to import data from Shopify to WooCommerce easily. With only two steps your Shopify store data will be imported. The plugin uses the Shopify API key to transfer data from Shopify to the WooCommerce store directly. Install and activate the plugin from the zip file. To connect the two platforms, you can connect via API using an access token or the private app. The private app access was no longer deprecated since 2022, still used for the old users. Go to your Shopify dashboard, settings, click on the apps and sales channels, then click to develop apps, then create an app. Add your app name and select your app developer. Then click on Create App. Move to the Configuration tab of your created app. Click to configure in the Admin API integration. On the Configuration page, activate, read permission, for only what is necessary for your app to work. For example, if you migrate products, orders only, just enable API read permission for products and orders. Click on the read permission. Then save all settings. Click on install app. The API credentials for your created app appear. Please copy the access token, then paste it in the access token field of the plugin setting. Go to Shopify to WooCommerce plugin. Enter your store address and access token where relevant. Before that you must check the API scopes, tick the red permission for the data you import on Shopify API. For example, if to migrate product data, you must tick the read permission for products respectively in the app configuration and save. Then check the import product settings before migrating it. My WooCommerce site has no product, order or customer. I want to import this data from Shopify to WooCommerce and run the import. Products, orders, customers can be imported by IDs. Go to Plugin Import by ID. Select the data you want to import by ID. Enter IDs of Shopify items separated by the commas to import.
The plugin offers to import products via CSV file. Go to S2W plugin, import CSV, select the CSV file to import the Shopify products, configure importing product options and map the data before running the import. Then wait for the process in progress. You can sync the imported products orders in three methods, manual, automatic, or via webhook. To manually sync the product data, go to the product list page, you can distinguish among the imported products by the plugin, and the other WooCommerce products with the sync buttons. If there is a change in the imported products on Shopify, manual sensing helps to update the change when you implement it. You can sync a product, selected or all imported products using the sync buttons, tick the options to import. You can make a schedule to update the imported products orders. Go to Plugin, Cron Product Sync. Enable Cron and set the schedule. The plugin will run Cron to sync the data dot dot besides. It offers options for sensing specific product order data. The third way to sync the imported products orders customers is using Webhook. This allows you to stay in sync with Shopify or execute code after a specific event occurs. Go to Plugin, Webhook to configure settings. We include the guide to configure a Webhook using the API in the video description. It is noted that you can import products orders customers with the event product order customer creation. Thank you for watching our video. Let's subscribe our channel to update new useful videos.